KFC is one of the most iconic fast food brands ever known to man. So what is the secret that sets KFC apart from other brands? This secret will be discussed later in this video, however, let's examine the production process. The process involved in the production of this fast food is not as technical as you think. And it is comforting to know that this comfort fast food is made in a way you can relate to. Except KFC does it on a much larger scale, with the use of an infernal magic machine called the pressure fryer. KFC actually makes their breaded fried chicken from the raw animal, chicken, to the final product that gets into buckets and double downs at their stores. It's basically like you would do it in your regular kitchen, except that KFC uses a pressure fryer instead. KFC makes use of fresh chicken for its products. It would be easy to assume that KFC and other fast food restaurants are frozen meat products for their menus. However, KFC uses fresh, chilled, but not frozen chicken for their products. The chicken is supplied by a local poultry company and is already cut into pieces, breasts, thighs, legs, and wings. The first step in making KFC breaded chicken is to prepare the breading mixture, which includes flour, salt, milk, egg powder, and the secret ingredient. To ensure proper distribution of the dry breaded mix, the dry ingredients are twisted and folded about 20 times and then sifted. As mentioned earlier, KFC uses real chicken that has already been processed into desirable cuts. The next step is to check the chicken. Basically, it's a control thing, and such should be expected from a top chicken fast food company. They inspect the chicken breast, thighs, legs, and wings for bruises, broken bones, excess fat, or leftover feathers and accidental organs left in. Generally, the chicken is usually fine, but you know one cannot be too careful. The next step after inspection is to dump the chicken into a brine, which allows the breading to stick, then dry off by toasting the chicken around seven times. The drying toss is done to ensure the chicken is not too wet when it hits the breading. The breading is so fine that it feels like swimming in fairy dust when you dip your hand in the mixing tub. The chicken is placed into the breading using a pseudo breaststroke motion seven times. Surprisingly, KFC is obsessed with doing things seven times, which plays a big part in the uniqueness of the taste. When it's good and well coated, the chicken is collected in a basket, and the seesaw motion is done seven times. As you might have guessed, this is done to ensure the chicken is not over breaded and reuse the breading. Finally, the chicken is placed on the frying rack. There is a whole chart that KFC uses to teach its employees how to place the breaded chicken cuts on a rack, with different illustrations depending on the size of the cuts. After careful placement on the frying rack, the chicken is pressure fried to perfection for about 10 to 25 minutes. KFC pressure fries its chicken, and it might sound scary, but it's awesome and requires special machines to do so. Normally, when you imagine someone making fried chicken, you probably think of them submerging it in a bubbling fat or an iron skillet filled with oil. While KFC has always used oil, it uses it differently by basically using a pressure cooker. KFC has pioneered pressure cooking with hot oil since the early 90s. However, it's important to know that using oil in a pressure cooker not meant for oil is very dangerous. KFC has differentiated its manufacturing process to ensure that it retains a competitive advantage by using information systems and has created its own unique requirements, which is different from its competitors in the same business. The primary activities are aimed at creating products that are unique. KFC has a strong distribution channel that enables it to produce large quantities of goods within a short time and distribute them at discounted prices in accordance with quality assurance.